In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to export a website from Hostinger to WordPress. So I'm going to read you through this guide to help you out. Now, before you begin, you need to, if you want to export websites, your website must be published. Um, you'll need a WordPress website with the following plugins, HTML import 2 and full width templates. Your WordPress website PHP version should be PHP 7.4. Um, this may change now. Here's the steps. First, you need to export website files from Hostinger. So, within the website build editor, access website settings in the bottom left corner, open the section export to WordPress and click export. So it should be down there and it will look like this. Once you've downloaded the zip, change the website's domain. This way, you'll release the current domain and you'll be able to connect it to your WordPress website. Now, if you're not sure what domain you use, you can use any subdomain of your website. For example, if your domain is hello.com, you can use hi.hello.com or buy.hello.com. It basically is a placeholder and you can do this with subdomains and I have a video on our channel about subdomains as well. Now, step two is to upload your website files to the public underscore HTML folder for your WordPress website. So, you want to go to your file manager, uh, extract the data.json file from the download and upload it to the root directory of public underscore html and you can do that in the file manager in here put it in here and in the root directory of public.html create a new folder it called website now you want to upload the rest of the html files from the zip except the data.json because you've already done that to the newly created folder and you can use the file manager again and now step three you need to finish importing your files to wordpress now make sure it's on the right versions, make sure you have these plugins installed. And what we're gonna do in files, specify the directory into which you have uploaded the HTML files. So if you call it website, do that. For file extensions to include, insert HTML, leave the field directories to exclude empty. And you can see there, there, and there like that. In the content tab, select import entire file and select the options import linked images and import linked documents. So you can see this one, this one, this one, those need to be checked. In title and metadata tab, select import file as pages. For template for imported pages, select FW full width, no header, foot, uh, footer. So select this and change it to this option here and that's under there. Then you want to save settings then import files select the directory of files and submit it and lastly you go to settings reading and click this started page and that's how you do it so if you enjoyed this video and found it useful please like subscribe and comment down below that it helped thank you for watching